Hello, my name is Douglas Block. I'm an author and a depression survivor. Welcome to another edition of One on One with a Depression Counselor. Today I want to talk about how cognitive therapy can help you treat your depression. Now, what is cognitive therapy? Well, the word cognitive is just a fancy word for the word thought or thinking. So what cognitive therapy says is that how we think and the thoughts we have will affect our feelings and therefore help to create our mood. Now this reminds me of something that the great motivational speaker Tony Robbins once said. He said there are two ways you can change your mental state. One is to change your physiology, right? That's why I talk about exercise and other uh, types of physical self-care uh, strategies in these videos. And the other way, he says, is to change the way you look at the world. Let me give you an example. Here we are in Portland, Oregon. It's the middle of January and it's rained for the 11th straight day. Two people experience this rain, but they have very different reactions. The first person says, it's been raining for 11 straight days. Why did I ever move from California? I can't stand this. The other person says, it's raining. Wow, it's the end of the week. That means there'll be snow in the mountains. Me and my girlfriend can go skiing this weekend. I'm happy. Notice the same event, the rain, but one person is happy and one person is sad. How can this happen? It's because it's not the event that creates the feelings we have. It's how we interpret the event or how we look at the event. How we think about an event is what determines our feelings. Now, perhaps you've heard of a song called You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman, very popular song. Well, I have news for you. Nobody can make you feel like anything. You are the person who controls how you feel. Uh, when he was in the concentration camp, Viktor Frankl, the great psychiatrist, said, everything can be taken from a man but one thing, how he chooses his attitude in any given situation. And Frankl called this the last of human freedoms. You don't have to be in a concentration camp or in a, a, a you know, difficult state to have this freedom. It's yours all the time. The thoughts you think and the interpretation you make of events will create the feelings you feel. Unfortunately, those of us who suffer from depression tend to put a negative spin or a negative interpretation on the events of our lives. In other words, we see the glass as half empty as opposed to half full. I want you to try out the following exercise. Complete these sentences with the first thing that comes into mind. I am. Most people are. The world is. When I think about the future, I see. If the general tenor of your conclusions seems to be bleak or gloomy, you might be suffering from what Aaron Beck, a cognitive therapist, says is the cognitive triad of depression. This means a negative view of the self, a negative view of the world, and negative feelings about the future. In other words, we see through a glass darkly. Now, how does this come about? Well, there are usually two causes. One is genetic, biochemical. Some people are just hardwired to be more pessimistic and melancholic. You can see this in infants. Uh, there was a famous study done in Harvard where they divided infants into two categories and they were the pessimistic infants and the optimistic ones. It just you know, built into the nervous system. The other has to do with conditioning, the way you were raised, what your parents modeled uh, for you. Oftentimes, early trauma can change the nervous system and cause one to start thinking negatively and be more prone to depression. So what do we do if we suffer from what Alcoholics Anonymous calls stinking thinking? Are we basically doomed by our biology and our conditioning? Are we victims of our biology and our conditioning? Well, if that were the case, nobody would ever recover from depression or other mood disorders. On the contrary, we can change the way we think. We can change the way we interpret our events in our lives. And this is what cognitive therapy is about. And in the next video called Learning to Think Like an Optimist, I will show you some very simple and powerful techniques that you can use to change your thoughts and put a more positive spin on the world. Until then, I wish you the best in your mental health recovery.
Thanks. Thank you.